Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. So today we are going to talking about stress. We our topic is stress adaptation model and stress and we talking about how our body reacts through a stress. Whenever we are suffering from a stress, how our body adapts the stress okay so first is the definition that what a stress really is okay so stress and excessive burning of the energy resources the means the energy in our body can get burned in excessive amount when we are unable to cope with the mental and emotional pressure and the next is the stress as a strait of strain whether the physical or physiological and stress is an interference in which to serve the functions of the organism means that whenever we are suffering from this stress we, our physiological and psychological functioning is also get altered and disturbed right then third definition is that the situation that produce anxiety response stress is always responses toward the anxiety whenever we are in stress then the stress is absolutely produces the anxiety responses in our body and this anxiety and stress and stresses are different types okay there are the several types of stressors which can produce stress in our body so first of all here we all clear about the definition that is it's a burning of energy uh, it leads to the physical psychological uh, alteration of the level of the functioning of our organs then um, it is the leads to the production of anxiety right it's all about the definition then comes to the types of stressors stressors are those which produce the anxiety okay from by which our body reacts and produces the stress is known as the stressors and stressors are of mainly four types first is the environmental stressor physiological social and thoughts mainly when our body reacts towards noise pollution traffic crowd weather then that we are consider it as a environmental stressor which stresses arises from the environmental stress stressors right then is the physiological physiological related to our body and whenever we are suffering for any of the illness injury hormonal fluctuation inadequate sleep nutrition from these all physiological and bodily problems when arises then it's known as a physiological stressors which further produce stress right then is the social stressors social then it considered mainly financial social events loss of loved ones is considered as a social stressors then thoughts mainly the negative self thoughts thinking about negative and negative and negative can also produces stress to our mind to our body then um, it's all about types and next move toward the models of stress why are we talking about the models what does the main use of this models mainly the use of the models in nursing is that with the help of knowing all about the stress models the nurse able to know about the level of the stress and how she able to cope with and assist the patient and give the knowledge to patient that how the patient is able to cope with all that situation so it's mainly important for nurse because the nurse can use this knowledge of this model to assess the patient and to know the level of the stress of the patient okay next how she knows about the level of the Uh, stress of the patients okay it's also important question now how the nurse able or the physician is able to know the level of the stress to the patient from which the patient is suffering okay so there is a three model of stress mainly stimulus response and transaction okay stimulus words is indicated as clearly that the stimulus i have already talking about the stresses is known as the stimulus which arises which stimulates the stress further okay then uh, 
Stimulus based model is um, mainly defined as a stimulus or life event or set of circumstances that arouses physiological and psychological as I already given you our knowledge that the stimulus is maybe a life event life event for example the death of the spouse incident accidents traumas and a set of the circumstances that arousing physiologically maybe injury illness psychologically maybe negative thoughts right it's known as all stimulus mainly how the nurse or the physician ables to calculate or to know the level of the stress from which the patient is suffering that is the main point so here is a readjustment rating scale social readjustment rating scale it's tool which is help us to know about the severity of the stress in the patient so here we make a scale from 10 to 100 here we put a question to the patient that he may give you a history or information that from last three years from which which traumas and the life events he suffers and which life events gives him a lot of stress right then if he's uh, talking about the minor for example the patient is say, uh, saying that he having a minor legal violations okay fightings home queries issues all that then we are consider it as a 10 score points and if the patient for example saying you that there is a death of his her spouse for 6 uh, months later and all that then you are considering 100 score points right in the help of this scale you ultimately uh, know about the level of the stress is it severe it's it's moderate or high or low for example all that uh, uh, is become uh, the total score if the total score is 150 or less then you are considered as that as low level of stress if your score is 150 to 299 then it you consider it as a moderate level of stress right this 300 to more then you have to consider it as a high level of stress okay next we comes to the response firstly we have to done about the stimulus then response whenever we having a stimulus for example it is a, a loss of loved one then response what we body gives response to that stimulus okay our body responds in three ways first is alarm response then is resistance then is exhaustion alarm in which our body gives alarm okay response to the stressor okay now in which way the body can give the response first of all the stressor comes out for example the stressor is a dog in the back of you his dog is a barking and running at the back of you for example it is and we are considering it as an stressor then the message of hypothalamus the stressor after stressor the message goes to the hypothalamus then hypothalamus gives message to the sympathetic nervous system then hypothalamus and sympathetic nervous system give messages to the adrenal adrenal medulla a gland situated on the kidneys then it secreted a catecholamine then catecholamine means epinephrine non epinephrine production which can produce the effect of fight and flight response you are uh, hope so you can know about these hormones epinephrine non epinephrine which is secreted by the adrenal medulla and these further give response fight and flight response means you have to cope or not to cope if you cope then it's okay in this situation if the person can cope then it's okay if he is unable to cope then it's shifted to the next stage that is a resistance stage okay it is the second stage what in this stage happens in this stage hypothalamus secreting the three hormones that is a uh corticotrophin releasing hormone thyrotrophin releasing hormone growth hormones in this these hormones goes 